So, there can only be one, but which one? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. And of course, I'm talking about the XPS 15, XPS 17, and the MacBook Pro 16. It'll be of no surprise to you that these are my favorite laptops. There is a case for all of them, but there can only be one. Which one's going to be my daily driver? I'm going to talk about that. Then which one would I choose if I didn't have a laptop? So I'll just talk about my daily driver now, which has been the MacBook Pro since I sold the XPS 15 earlier in the year, thinking the new one would come out late March, which it was due to early April. And of yeah, of course, we know what's happened. <laughs> Everything got delayed. So if we talk about my daily driver, it's gonna be the MacBook Pro 16 for now. I guess the main reason is I already have it. But other than that, it's because I will tell you which one I would choose if I didn't have a laptop already. But the problem is now in Australia, I can't get a white XPS 15. I can't get an XPS 15 or 17 with the Qualcomm modem. So if you don't know, the XPS 15 and 17 will come out with Qualcomm modems eventually. Currently, they use the Intel modem. The Qualcomm will be more power efficient. So I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for a white XPS 15 or 17. And I'm waiting for the i9. And even in Australia, I'm waiting for the 2060. Yes, you can't get an XPS 17 with the 2060 in Australia. Still, I'm not going to do it. Now, I'll talk about why each one is great in a sec and why you would want to go one over the other. But think about that. By the time they have everything I want, so Qualcomm modem, white version, 2060 in the XPS 17, When's that going to be? September? October? Well, if that's the case, we're talking near the end of the year. And the new one should be coming out, what, March, April next year? Which, of course, will be the same design. But we should be getting Rocket Lake CPUs, which apparently are new. Like a new architecture, they're not based on Skylake. Supposed to have 10% IPC gains. They're spotting nanometer. I mean, Intel stuck there, sadly. There may be an AMD version, like Special Edition if they can sort out the Thunderbolt 3 thing. And of course, there's gonna be new graphics cards. So think of RTX and GTX 3000 series. And I would love to see an AMD in the XPS series. Like that 5600M you're getting in the MacBook Pro now. Like I had that MSI in, that's 115 watt 2060, 115. The MacBook Pro 16, 50 watt 5600M. Beat that in Luxmark like 18,000 compared to say 21, 22,000 you get on the 5,650 watts. That's using 115 watts, 2060, and the 5,600M in the MacBook Pro is faster. And even the RTX 2070, when it's at 55 watts, which I demonstrated in the Legion 7i, when it's running at 55 watts, so that's five watts more than what you get in the 5,600M in the MacBook Pro 16, it was slower than the 5,600M. So we're talking the RTX 2070 was slower than a 5600M. That shows how awesome that AMD graphics is. And Apple won't be using it. They're gonna dump it once they get Apple Silicon. Please, PC manufacturers, pick up on that. I mean, even if they have to chuck on GDDDR6 onto it, just keep the same compute units, maybe give it a, you know, five, 10 extra watts. I'll break my heart if it doesn't have HBM, but um, that's such a great graphics card. And that's where you want the Mac, all right? The MacBook Pro 16, if you want the best graphics, that is the one to get. Conversely, the XPS 17, that has the best, and actually the XPS 15 as well, they have the best sort of CPU, like how far they can peak, especially the 17. That thing will do like 4,000 Cinebench, so that's like 400 points faster than the current MacBook Pro 16. So CPU side, XPS 17, GPU side, MacBook Pro 16, Although those two are the best balanced, XPS 17 and the MacBook Pro 16, what if you just want something ultra compact like the XPS 15? You gotta remember when you're doing content creation, I think after 2060, it's very diminishing returns after that. And even at 1650, four gigabytes, if you're just doing 4K content, H.264, H.265, really 2060 is obviously better and faster, but it's not a night and day difference. And the XPS 15 in terms of compactness, the balance of it, just giving you enough power to get the job done. You can game, you know, 1080p, high settings, you know, 60 FPS, what more do you want? So for me, I'm just going to stick with the you know, MacBook Pro 16 until I can get everything I want in the XPS series. But by then, 
I'm probably thinking I'm going to get the next model. And that's the good thing. If you're talking XPS 15 versus XPS 17, the XPS 17 is better. It's going to have slightly better battery life. A bigger display is always better. You do carry around the weight penalty and you also have more power, more thermal power. So the XPS 15 around 60 watts, 75 watts the MacBook Pro, around 85 watts the XPS 17. So that one can sustain the most watts because of that vapor chamber and yeah, it's, it's very well balanced. So I'd say the XPS 17 is better in my opinion out of those two, but I reckon that's going to change next year because if we get new Intel CPUs, maybe AMD, who knows, but just let's stick to, you know, we know they're going to have Intel versions. If that's the case, you're getting a better CPU, hopefully more power efficient, faster, better performance per watt, better IPC. Then we have the new 3000 series graphics. So, you know, the XPS 15 might have, you know, graphics power faster than a 2060 currently with the new 3000 series. Then the XPS 15 will be better in my opinion, other than if you want a bigger screen and extra two Thunderbolts. Just because if you're getting, you know, 2060 plus GPU performance, as I've said, diminishing returns for sort of content creation. And I'm talking about Premiere, maybe DaVinci. Yeah, all right. I don't know. But to me, having something, you know, that's quite a bit smaller than the XPS 17 and lighter, and hopefully it's going to be more power efficient as well with the new CPUs, then it gets elevated. You're getting the performance of the XPS 17 currently in the XPS 15 because of the new parts. You're getting the extra battery life because of the new parts. And yes, of course, the XPS 17 will leap up in performance, but the diminishing returns, right? You've got to get the right tool for the job. And for me, like editing video and Premiere Pro, yeah, if it has 2060 power in the XPS 15 with the new parts, that's good enough for me. And I'll take the more compact, lighter XPS over the XPS 17. But currently, I would go the XPS 17. Now, if I was going to choose out of all these, money on the line, I don't have a MacBook Pro because I'm going to keep the MacBook Pro. I've got to tell you a story about pretty much how I lost virtually no money, maybe about 600 Australian, which is about 400 US, to switch from the last MacBook Pro 16 with the 5,500 to the 5,600. That resale was mad. I, I just put it on Gumtree for 5.5K. Someone bought it. It was like, well, I spent an extra 1,000 and I got the 5,600M, which was like a $1,000 upgrade anyway, and then just, you know, pay the Apple Care on top of that. So basically for the cost of Apple Care, maybe $100 more, I upgraded to a 5,600M. Wow, Apple's resale value is just crazy. And now I put it on Gumtree for 5.5K, and I didn't even want to sell it. I just put it there. I go, look, if someone pays it, I'll sell it. And they did. I, I sometimes shake my head at what people pay for second-hand products. I, I don't understand. But anyway, I was the winner there. But in terms of if I didn't have a laptop now, which way would I go? Now, given that everything is equal, I can get the white version. I can get the 2060. I can get the Qualcomm modem in the XPS series and that the prices have come back to reality. Because, you know, if you're talking the same price, XPS and Mac, the Mac is always the better value because of that resale value. Just insane what you resell these for. Of course, I did have AppleCare there. So if they're around the same price, I'll probably get the Mac. But given that the XPS 15 and 17, they'll drop in price, they'll have 20% sales and all this sort of thing. As long as I can get a decent i9 configuration... Meaning I don't have to, you know, have the two terabyte hard drive and have to have 64 gigs RAM, which currently they basically do. They make you, you know, they upsell everything. That's why Apple is the cheapest i9 because they don't sell you all this other rubbish that you probably don't want. PC manufacturers and Dell, they make you buy all this other stuff that you don't want to buy just to get the i9. Given if I could just go in there, get a 256 or 512 gig with 16 gigs RAM and just upgrade that CPU to i9 and the price have come back to earth with Dell, you've got to get the XPS 17 in my opinion because then I can whack in 64 gigs RAM you know, down the track a little bit. I can whack in the two terabyte. You can put eight terabyte hard drives in these now. You can put two of them. I can have 16 terabytes in it. Unfortunately, you can't upgrade the Wi-Fi. That's why I want the Qualcomm modem. But I just had an XPS 15 that someone bought under my recommendation come back to me. This was a 2016 model, 9560. It come in here, the battery life sucked because the battery's like half dead. It's like four or five years or whatever old. 
it was 8 gigabytes and it had a 256 gig SSD. So they've had this for, you know, the best part of five years. Put a new battery in it. We put a new SSD in it. We upgraded to 16 gigs RAM. It's like 500 bucks, something like that. And Wolf, that laptop is good for another five years. Yeah. So they've had it for five years and it's good for another five years because I've just upgraded the components. And that's why the XPS 15 or 17, you try and get in at that low end model to get the nice price as long as you can get the cpu you want then you can upgrade it later with the mac you just have to put the money up front yeah you'll get your money back so if they're the same price i'll get the mac if i can get a deal on the xps i'll go to 17 but that may change next year when the new cpu and gpus come out it may be yeah i'll get the xps 15 because you know the performance is getting up there now yeah which one that's my opinion on them i thank you guys for watching telly ho